Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of The Hand of Tesla. Our last episode, we, um, we, you know, we had some, uh, we had some challenges. Um, uh, one thing we've been dealing with is uh, trying, to, trying to balance things out um, so that we can bring an end to this war. And I'll just say that it's uh, it's, it's been um, it's been quite a quite an inter interesting experience. But um, we're we're about to colonize. We're about to, not colonize. We're about to um, claim this world, and they've got a uh, they've got forces right here to uh, to defend themselves, and they've got a, a significant amount of uh, fortification. Um, but we have large, um, we have a large mass force at our disposal, so we're hoping that's going to make a difference having such great numbers. Um, and, um, I'm probably going to end up building, um, I, think I, I think I might split a few corvettes from our primary fleet here, um, so that they could, uh, yeah, I might do that. I might, I might send like five corvettes, um, just so they could help out, um, with um with um with that bombardment just so they could uh yeah I'll do that very quickly um, oops that's not what I meant to do uh, that is not at all what I meant to do um merge okay try this again transfer ships well oh, that's actually kind of smart they've updated this so that you can um Transfer all damaged ships. That's smart because you can send them to uh, get repaired while everything else continues on, and then they can merge later on. I like that. I like that concept. Um, or we can always just send. Um, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll send the biter class. Those are the destroyers. Okay, I'll send the bite class because these are the. Um, what are those? But well, there are ten of those, and they'll they'll be a good uh, good little fleet of ten corvettes. Let me see what's the design on this one. Oh, they're the ones with the um with the uh, mining lasers. So that's good. That's good. I'll send them to this system, and they will bombard that planet while our guys invade. And hopefully they'll get there in in a, in a short time. Um, but the the war steadies on, and we move on to our next next target. What was our next target? Um, I was trying to follow the movements of um, of an enemy fleet that's going to be flying through our system, flying through our space, um, only because I wanted to uh, just decimate them before the um, got over here and, and provided more forces to these guys because I think all of our forces all of their forces are kind of trying to uh, take this territory here um, they've already got one fleet here that's bombarding this planet pretty much all they need right now is a, is a, is a um, occupation force and they'll, they'll claim this territory and I want to stop I want I really want to stop that and I also want to take a create a pretty big dent in their in their in their um, in their forces, I think I can do that just because of how their ships are constructed. I mean, how their fleet is constructed, um, and the fact that we have really cool um, strike crafts um, that can just kind of rip away at their um, at their uh, battleships. But um, I also don't want to travel too far away from our space and away from um, this space because these are our primary target. These guys are the ones we're trying to go to war with. They're, these are the planets we're trying to claim. Um, so the further we go in this direction, the further we're away from, I mean, the further we go in this direction, the further we're away from these guys. And it takes so long to um, to travel with such a large fleet. Um, sync to synchro sync. I also almost want to feel like I want to blast these guys out of, the, out of space because they've been reinforcing um, their allies, and um, that's not been beneficial to us. So what I might do is, um, what, I'm, what I am going to do um, is um, 
something smart here very quickly. I, I'll go, and I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna hit their. Um, Construction complete. System I'm gonna hit complete. all their planets. I'm just, I'm just I'm just gonna have to leave my allies to um to to kind of contend with those other guys for right now while I hit these guys. Um, and I just have to hit all their um, all their spaceports. Find out where they have forces, where they don't have forces. Um, I mean, like space uh, spaceports. They don't have spaceports. I'll drop my uh, my large armies to just kind of claim their planets. Um, it'll, it'll, it's kind of a longer fight, but it's still like a fight in the background. And I'll, and I'll also build more um, wormhole stations in some of these systems. Situation log updated. I really wish these guys would have just gone straight to, uh... You know what, one thing I did forget to do, and I feel bad about that, is I forgot to research these uh, this debris. So I have a science ship that's not really doing anything. I'm gonna send him to, uh... Research the, the debris. Research projects. There we go. Because um, uh, we could we could we could use that help. Well, we can use that extra bit of research. It might give us a tactical advantage if we're using their if we, um, we're using their tech against them. And then these guys need to rebuild their forces. Um, so how are we doing on the invasion on this planet? System survey complete. We're doing okay. Okay, and our fleet's made it to the system. Um. Huh. One thing I was not expecting was for these guys to have strike craft. So, um... Hopefully we got some point defense that will help knock out their strike craft. And will our strike craft fight their strike craft? That's something new. We will see, but that's, those are their ships right there. It's funny how the strike craft go directly for the battleships. Construction complete. Hmm. Do we have point defense? Oh yes, we do. Well, we have some point defense on the ships. That's wonderful. We're blowing their spike, their strike craft to to dust. Um, so that is uh, that is good. We're we're not as vulnerable to strike crafts as their ships are. Now look at those ships go. And bye bye front that's looks like that was a fortress or something on those lines. Updated. So that's good. So now we can build a <clears throat> remote station in this system. And then build a little um, that's a little defense uh, station right here too. Right here. And then I'll send our uh, science ship, which 
should be on its way. Great. And it will research projects in the system. And who's right here? These guys are right here. Alright, they're going to the system next. Great timing, because guess where we're going next. Um, Maybe we're not doing as much damage as I thought we were going to do. Okay. Time to build some more ships. While we're at it. Um, so... Oops. I did build another... Um, oh, no, it's not, it's not there yet. Okay. Um, so we have all of these here. So I'm just going to build a little bit, a few more ships. Complete. Um, let's just build five... Um, what did I just build? This is the spaceport. Gamma colony. I remember. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Um, but we do need some help on that planet. So we're going to, let's see, this right here. I'm gonna build more stingers. Never heard of stingers. Or devourers, actually. Devourers are more expensive, but they're plasmas. And plasmas are pretty powerful once you get past the shields. Let us hear our earthquake. Minus 5% of happiness. Ha ha ha. We laugh at your happiness. Um, so, because that's. We don't really care about happiness. We're hive mind, so hive mind worry about happiness. What's with Gamma Colony? I'm really confused. The spaceport has finished its construction queue. What was it building? At the recent earthquake which shook our colony has caused a large sinkhole to open. Whatever once occupied that spot it is now deep underground. Um, so I am worried. What was, what was, okay, well, that's, that's something. That is something indeed. Delta Colony is what I'm thinking about. Ooh. That is not good at all. Look at that sinkhole. Construction. That's something complete. to think about. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I didn't have a pop on that in that on that spot. Uh, that would have been terrible. Um, Evading hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet. Construction complete. Construction complete. If it has some fleet, I'm construction kind of complete. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. They amass enough forces. They're gonna try to go after my um. Complete. Okay. Pause this. Where's my, uh... <laughs> Moving to... Oh, we're still in this system. Wow, it takes us a long time to move around. We need, to, we need to get in the system and take out that fleet before they destroy that. Ah, it's too late. They're going to destroy that military station. Um, but it's designed to kind of uh, slow them down, so I guess that's something. 
Come on. Move to Zabirsis. Come on, guys. Wait, what? Entering orbit of... I am so lost right now. Where are we? I really just beat my fleets up. They are going so slow right now. Ah, oh, I cannot believe this. Military station lost. It's, that is the the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. Um, well, I mean, I, I knew it was possible that it would happen, but um, I kind of expected us to be able to get there in time. Transmission. Incoming transmission. Peace offer. Merciful aspects of the hand of. Does that prevail? We offer you peace on these terms. White peace. <sighs> All right. So, um, this has been quite a this has been quite a war. So I'm gonna accept the terms. Uh, we're at negative four percent, so I really can't. Um, I, I really can't say no to to this uh, to this white piece offer. Um, I mean, I could say no, and I could really try to battle it out. But right now, their forces are way greater than ours. So what I'm hoping is that um, I can just go the Bacterians into fighting us in the future, and I won't have to fight so many war empires at the same time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree to this white piece. Um, and war is over. So we are going to. Um, plus, I'm kind of dumb going up being at war with them. Um, I'm just gonna send all my fleets back home. Oh, okay. I'm gonna send it. What the? No. I'm gonna send this to. Construction complete. Why can't I find? Oh, I attest that guys are right there. Okay, I'm used to our, I'm used to our space being smaller. Um, I've <laughs> colonizing these extra planets has kind of thrown me off, but where where our home system is. Um, so there we are right here. So I'm going to send us. Okay, so actually that's where we're going. We're we're, we're returning home. Um, so I'm going to send our. Uh, I'm gonna have our uh, our transport ships also just return and return and return. Unfortunately, we're we weren't as successful as we wanted to um, at um, cutting down these guys because we want we want the circuit that we're getting too powerful. Um, but you know we, we whooped them for a nice bit so. Um, I hope in the next 10 years they don't go to war with these guys again um, because because of the fact that we just accept that, that white piece we have a truce with these guys so we can't go to war with them again for another 10 years system survey um, complete in that 10 years time I have to um, do a lot oh my goodness this is good. Um, this is terrible and good. Here's why it's terrible. It's terrible because now if we go to war with these guys, I'm going to war with these guys too. But it's good because I don't have to deal with going to war with the, these guys or these guys when I go to war with these guys. So, um, unless all all four of them are in this pact, um, unless all four of them join this new um, federation that these guys have established with each other. Um, this was actually beneficial to us um, because these are the guys that I primarily fought and these are the guys I actually was able to whoop pretty well um, where's this guy at? okay so I'm gonna study all their debris 
and uh, they're probably going to do the same thing. But uh, next time we fight them, we're, I think we're going to do really well. Um, with just two fewer opponents to have to go Incoming up against. Transmission. Um, because we got hit pretty hard over here and over here because of these guys. These guys were pretty much the guys that, um, they, they're the ones that gave us such negatives. Um, I mean, it helped that they, they took, um, these guys took a few worlds of the, uh, Pogavans, but, um, if I didn't have these guys to worry about, um, we would have won this war. I would have whooped out, I would have taken out all their forces, I would have taken out all their forces, and then I would have gone there and systematically destroyed all of their, um, all of their spaceports. <sighs> so. But, with that war passed, I now turn my eyes towards these guys. Um, you see, it has Federation Associations. So next up, I'm gonna take out the Bullnock Confederate Confederated Territories because they decided they wanted to um, build forces in our space or near our space, so close to our space. Um, now that we're done at war, I I can um, start to expand a little bit more. Construction complete. Colonize planet. Um, right here, we're gonna put this. Uh, Drone node. Ah, let's go with production cell. Actually, I like production cell. Drone cell. I'm just gonna go with. I'm just gonna. Uh, what? Whatever. I'll, just, I'll click something else. Um, production chamber. There we go. Debris analyzed. Oh no. Well, I take that back. Um, I will have to worry about these guys because now they are part. Um, actually, no, I'm trying to. They're not part of their, so they're, they're, they got an association status. They didn't actually join the Federation just yet. So as long as they don't join the Federation before we go to war with these guys again, um, we'll be good. We'll be good. Or, now that those guys have joined, now that those guys have joined that pact, um, the, their defense pact with these guys is gone. So I can technically go over with these guys. Um, oh, they have a defense pack with the Viteriuses. Okay, so they still have that pack there. Um, um, I really don't want to go up against these guys for a little while. I want to go against these guys and these guys. Um, so, hopefully, in the next 10 years, which is going to go by pretty quickly, I feel, 23, 29, will... And, and, and who knows? I'm, I'm kind of hoping that these guys, and these and um, these two are going to go to war with, um, with these guys, or these guys, or these guys. Because um, then they'd also have themselves quite a fight on their hands. But we got uh, we got some we got some um, some good tech from fighting them in that war. We got some ion disruptors. We have plasma thrusters, germ of whole tissue. Um, so we've got some we've got some better um, our armor tech. Thirty plus thirty percent. That's that's excellent. Plus thirty percent to the ion disruptors. So um, I must say that um, it was a fruitful war. We we got a nice bit out of that conflict. Minic could have gone better, could have gone more to our, um, but we held our own. This is actually the first war I've gone to, where I haven't kind of come out victorious. Um, so, this is kind of, this is kind of, this is kind of a humbling war for us as well. Research complete. Um, System survey complete. Let's see, Giga Cannon. I will go with that. That sounds pretty, pretty cool. Or I can get the Ripper Auto Cannon. Um, no, no, Giga Cannon sounding pretty, um, pretty hardcore. I could also go with these Marauder missiles. 
any time actually now that it's so proud of this. That's, um, Missile Tech has actually been improved since they upgraded. Um, ignores 30% armor, um, boosts shield damage. Um, Missile Tech used to be pretty, um, pretty, uh, pretty slow, pretty weak. Um, but they they have improved it a little bit. So maybe maybe later on I'm gonna have one ship that does like ranged missile fighting. Um, especially on on the um, one thing I don't like is that um, battleships. Let me speed this up. Um, one thing I don't like is the fact that battleships don't have um, battleships don't have torpedo technology. Um, which bothers me. I, I, will, I, will, I would think the battleships of all things uh, would, would, like, from a distance, they'd fire like off like loads and loads of missiles System from a greater range. Complete. But um, they they took that away. So if I did get that missile attack, I used that for battleships and just get them like long range, kind of sit in the back and fire off missile after missile after missile after missile, um, and offer some missile support from from a range. Um, what I've also decided to do against these guys um, is I am going to um, close off I'm, I'm gonna close borders and um, we have a truce with these guys um, so in five years um, I'll be able to close borders and go to war with them um, yeah, because they um, Closing borders is gonna mess them up because um, they won't be able to uh, go from like this from here to here, or depending on the range of their their uh, of their faster than light travel, they won't be able to go from here to here. So they'll, they'll be cut off from these colonies. They just um, they they just found they just they just found it, and I'm doing that because they're encroaching over here. Now I probably should have. Probably should have colonized those plants beforehand, but yeah, whatever. Still ours. It's mine. My 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 mine. Um, that's now we've got to make up for all the time we lost. Um, we got to rebuild um, everything. I'm just going to merge all of this. What I also might have to decide to do is um, build a couple more separate fleets. Right now we only have one big fleet um, and it's kind of slow so I have to, um, I have to get better um, Impulse technology for all my ships, especially my, my battleships. My battleships were creeping. They were super creeping. Um, too slow for me. This is trade deal foreign stuff. Oh, auto declined. Gotcha. I gotcha. We really make terrible allies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're refusing all these trade deals kind of kind of be in jerks a little bit but um ah, whatever and where is our um are we almost there we're almost there we only need five pops then we can upgrade this um, administrative building and then turn this into a, um, a Batharian stone power plant and I, and I actually have to um, huh. ah. my microphone got stuck um, I also have to build um, a unity building so that I can um, increase unity on our planet because we uh, we're so we're so behind on our our unity and our tradition now that I've um, colonized four more planets, really five more, um, from what I had before, um, 
it's it's kind of it's kind of going to slow down our our, our pathway to to um, boosting our tradition. This is now like fourteen thousand. I need seventy-one months to get another tradition. Um, it's it's crazy. It's it's crazy. It's actually four thousand more than it was before. I think. I think every extra colony that I <laughs> that I added, it had an extra thousand per colony. Um, okay, so we've got a little bit more uh, plasma thruster technology research, junior politician research, armor research. So that's it's good, 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 good. So where's my science ship? Make sure that you're getting all of it. Debris. Okay, four more orders. And how much more debris? Okay, so he's gonna hit all of the debris in those systems. Well, these guys probably hate our guts. Well, I. Because they're rivals, allies with rivals, allies with rivals, repugnant ruler, I bind. They actually don't like, don't hate us as much as they did before. Um, but I guess um, that's going to change once we insult them. <laughs> because, because we have to be petty. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait until we can go to war with them again, and then I'll insult them. Um, we've got to rebuild our forces, um, improve our forces, and we have to get superior to these guys in fleet power. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to invest a little bit more in, um, in just bumping up our energy credits. Um, become patrons again with the um, the um, the one guys the uh, what are they called the, the curators we, we we were in good terms with the, not the curators I'm sorry the um, the um, artist enclave they have a really high opinion of us um, but we're not patrons anymore because it's so expensive we wish to become a patron uh, for 10 years but it costs three thousand energy you'd think having a opinion of plus 100 would um would actually make them nicer to us and more willing to give us a discount um but no it's not it doesn't make an impact at all so whatever bros whatever Let's um, build this mining stations and I'll have him build these mining stations too. Cool. And this guy will build these mining stations right here. So we're going to get some minerals from all this space. Good minerals. And also build that there. Then we'll build research stations. And this guy here will build a research station right back in this system. There we go. Ooh, I didn't realize this was right here. And mine station's right there too. Look at that. And I didn't see that right here as well. Just on the cusp, just on the edge. Wait a second, what? Oh yeah, okay. So. Ha! That's our space. They almost had that in their territory, but they don't. I thought this would be close enough to us to where it would um, kind of connect to this or this, but it isn't. Um, if I colonize this world, then they connect. But I won't worry about it. I wonder if I can go to war with these guys. I can go to war with these guys, their fleet power is inferior, so they might be our next target. 
Only thing is, I'm concerned if I go to war with these guys um, too soon. Okay, they've got a fleet power of 8,000 right there. Um, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm concerned if I vassalize these guys, then they might get a, a, choose to join a defense pact or choose to join um, these guys' as federation. Um, and then I can't go to war with them. Um, now one benefit with these guys is I won't have to vassalize them. I can seed their worlds because they're a hive mind. <laughs> so they won't die if we um, integrate them, or if we just actually just take their worlds, as opposed to, um... oh, we lost someone, a governor. On Tesla, and we'll recruit a new governor. Uh, one who, one who, I don't know, does stuff. Let's see, build costs, we'll not have to build anything in that world. Uh, we're doing pretty good on everything else. Um, I'm gonna say we're gonna recruit the guy from Beta Colony. What is this, Beta Colony anything? Um, oh yeah, we're just build costs on this guy. Okay. So this, this, um, this governor is going to be... I'm just going to keep the clock going. Uh, th th I don't have to stop it for this. Yes. And this guy. Why does it cost 50? That's really expensive. I thought I, um... I thought I reduced the cost of governors with this, so why does it cost so much? That's weird. I'm trying to figure out what, what would cause our uh, governors to cost 50 instead of 33 like the other ones. Maybe, maybe it didn't reduce the cost of, um, it is, I see, I think it has bumped up the, uh, all this did was give them extra, extra skill points. So I didn't actually reduce the cost. I'm not going to get a governor for that system just yet. What I do want to do is, um, build a power plant right here, um, because we need a bottle power plant. I'm actually going to upgrade every, all the buildings now that I have, um... Should we cancel construction? Yes, what I'll do is... I'll recruit the guy, because he was going to reduce building costs. Uh, building cost, minus 10%, building speed, plus 10%. Which one of these guys is, um... I won't, um... Yeah, I'll go with this guy. Actually, no, this guy's a little bit younger. Um, I feel bad, like I'm ageist for choosing that option, but um, I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die right away. Um, so there we go. And it costs us a little bit less. And build System a survey complete. science lab right here. I want to upgrade all of this, especially our labs. And our Unity buildings. And I should have done something with this by now. Tesla's capped out. This is not capped out. What is this guy doing here? Just not having a job. What's that for? And this guy doesn't have a job. I mean, he's doing something, but he's not doing um, power plant right there. And so this is the development chamber. I want to upgrade all of these science labs. 
Time flies by, doesn't it? <laughs> um, that's that's engineering lab. So everything's gonna be upgraded. And this planet is where we have the clone vaps. I was kind of curious which world it was it that I could build clone um, clones on, and it's the Rael. Why else am I? Ah, 25. Clones ready to... Clone warrior drones? I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have them um, mixed up. Aggressors, aggressors, aggressors. All aggressors. Great. We have, we have a very sizable um, army here. So, I'm really excited about that. I'm just gonna merge these two. And... 70. Great. So we've got 70 of those and 25 of these guys. Note to self. Processing chamber has... Nope. Development chamber has clones. Debris analyzed. More debris. Plasma thrusters. Nice. Afterburners. Disruptors. Good. So we're gonna have plasma thrusters pretty soon. That'll take care of my complaint about us going slow. Uh, let me just pause this very quickly and just kind of look. And how much is it gonna cost us? So yeah, it's, it's, it's good. We're only gonna be like 18 months for the plasma thrusters. Um, so that's, that's, that's gonna be good for us. And, um, apparently... System survey complete. Our allies already have this technology. So... Plus 71%. That's pretty good for the, um, Giga Cannon research. Um, and so I just have to make sure that we bump up, um, our research on one of these, um, new new colonies. I think the Delta Colony would be a great planet for uh, extra research. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. We have to get rid of all these tile blockers. But in order to do that, I'll have to get a lot more energy than this because it costs us a great deal of energy to, uh, to remove those. Unless... What I can always do is, um, again, I can borrow one of our leaders. He's 83. Age is above 82, so he's got a 1% chance of dying monthly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like every, every year afterward, it's going to increase by 1%, I think. So in 10 years, he's going to have a 10% chance of dying every month. That's kind of sad. Um, so I should probably utilize this guy while I can utilize him. What planet is he on? A research colony? I want to move him somewhere where we have tau blockers. So he can reduce the cost of using a tau blocker by like 25%. There we go. Let's take this guy from Research Colony. Um, how much is that going to hurt us? Oh, so that hurt us by like two points right here. But Research Colony is going to get um, a different leader from Tesla. Okay, he's books. Okay, we'll take that. I bumped that up a little bit. Not much. I feel like I lost some engineering research there. Plus, I lost two engineering research. Um, which is the one that's working on the Giga Cane. The one I'm trying to actually bump up is the one that loses when I'm trying to give it more research. Research colony. I need to upgrade all of the... Um, I need to upgrade all of these. So I'm gonna make this is gonna be engineering. This is gonna be engineering. And this is gonna be engineering. Great. And I'm also gonna upgrade this building so that we can upgrade the rest of them with the highest, the best tech. This has this guy, so now I can 
How much is it going to cost? 75. Not as bad. Still bad, but not as bad. So I'm going to remove this. Remove this. And I'll just do this one. And this one. I'll do all of them. And then I'm going to have to uh, just buy some more energy. Okay. Just, just have to think about that one for a second there. I'll save this one for last. I'm not going to bother with this one because that's kind of a waste. Um, only because, you know, once I fill up this entire planet, then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this. Um. Tomb World should be ready to upgrade. Boom, shagalaka. We've got plenty of food. System survey complete. That's gonna... Ah, bomb crater. I'm kind of curious what happened on this planet. It would be kind of cool if we had... Um, one feature of the game was like... Um, a history, like you could... Um, you could set up, set up like a project, like a society project, to um, do some like archaeological stuff colonized. on the planet that you colonize and learn about the history of the species prior to your arrival. Um, if it's like a tomb world or something like that, or, or ongoing research on planets you colonize that that increases your um, your society research or engineering research or physics research. Um, colony. Okay, so that's there. What are we looking at? Why is this brute cell thing not showing um, that there's a water world? That's kind of weird. Maybe because it's... I don't know. Let's see what's going on with this world. Boom. Energy. No question. No, we need food. We need food. We need food on this planet. Um, so, I will... Uh, I'll build a farm right here. One thing I also want to get is the um, Paradise Domes. Paradise Domes are helpful for... for um, they're beneficial because they give you unity and they also create um, five food. Um, they also improve um, habitability, I think, and happiness. Um, but, well, happiness isn't a big deal for us since we're... Um, since we're... Um, high fine, obviously. It doesn't affect us. The happiness thing doesn't bother us too much. Um, it doesn't concern us. Okay, so this new world, Outreach Worlds, I'm going to build this right here. Because we need, we need more unity. In fact, I'm going to build one of these on all of these worlds. And this is going to go right here. Construction complete. Wow, this planet has a lot of um, what are these tile blockers too. So um, once I uh, once my guy is done removing the tile blockers on um, which road did I put him on to remove tile blockers? Darn it, I lost track of it. Oh, this guy, old guy. Okay. So as soon as he's finished with the tile blockers on this planet, which seems like he's kind of blowing through them pretty quickly, um, I'm going to have to send him to uh, the Delta Colony. Construction that has complete. a lot of tile blockers. A lot of tile blockers. And I'm going to clear all of that out. And this has unstable tectonics too. Man, we're just really unfortunate with our choice of planets. I don't know Delta Colony, okay, that's what 
Okay, I got you. That's the same. That's the same one. Never mind. That's the only one. here as clearly we need as much energy as possible and I have a uh, okay. boom then this is gonna be a farm because we need more farms clearly until we start eating people and then we won't need farms anymore for a while um, and that one's gonna be a processing plant yep and then this one's gonna be a mining. There we go. I need to start building more mineral silos. That's one thing I do want to do because um, they um, they offer great adjacency bonuses, um, but they also help with um, system survey complete improving our mineral capacity because we're at twenty two thousand. Um, in order to build a mega structure, you need a lot more than that. So, at some point, I'll be... What planet can I build that on? This one right here. I can actually build a... Um, Construction complete. Let me see. I could probably build one right somewhere over here. Or even right here. Debris no. analyzed. No. Mineral silo right here. That way I, I can get the benefits of having construction uh, complete. Minerals right here, minerals right here, minerals right here. Okay, so I'll put mineral silo right here. It'll bump up this, it'll bump up this. This will bump up a uh, mining network right here. Um, debris. Oh, they can do it, my debris. Okay, all the debris has been researched. Um, so I can send. Okay, one. Almost all the debris have been researched. One more. Then he'll be done. And I think it's, um... <laughs> Boom, track it back. I have to keep building farms for the sake of, um... um making it easier for me to colonize all of my planets faster. Sharing food, sharing all that stuff. And so, we're almost done with the towel blockers on Brut World, on Brut Cell. Brut Cell sounds like a stupid name. I don't know, I'm not liking it. But what do I do? I'm gonna build a farm right here. And send that guy right there. I built another farm right here. Look, this guy right here. Let's just get a huge surplus on food so that I can colonize these planets as soon as possible. And I will send this guy. I'll send him right here. Boom. More. Which reminds me, I didn't build a, um, I've got to clear up this time. Oops, actually, never mind. Cancel. Yes, cancel. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just build a, uh, monument right here. Um, so I can, uh, I'm going to build a monument in every world. So I'm just going to do that, so I have to actually do that. Right here is going to be where the monument goes for this, uh... And... This planet is going to have him right here. Great. So... This one's not being used. I'm going to send you way over here. 
take care of that. They're great. We're gonna go right there. Debris and analyzed. That's right here, adjacency is good. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. Excellent. Excellent. We're doing a full tissue. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I think we're pretty good. Upgrade that. Definitely. So yes, we're doing really well. Um, next episode, um, we're going to be still doing some more infrastructure development. I might actually do that off camera. Um, next time you might see me, I'll, I'll be probably like 10 years in the future, or at least 5 years in the future, just so I can um, I'm just, I'm just kind of maximize all of our buildings. Um, and... We'll have a better, a stronger economy next time you see us. We'll have, um, you know, our, our eyes set on going to war with our neighbors. And um, if anything major starts to happen in between um, now and the next episode, I'll, I'll just pause it and start it from there with the next episode. Like, if, if one of our neighbors goes to war with another neighbor, um, I would obviously um, ignore that unless it was beneficial to us and we could go to war again um, with them. Um, with the Bacterian guys. System survey complete. Um, and I'll also decide whether or not I want to um, integrate one of my vassals, um, because um, one of our biggest weaknesses, one of our biggest regrets, is that we couldn't integrate them, and they were hit it so hard. Um, what are these guys doing? These guys are trying to expand it in this territory. Um, so that's wow. This really sucks. We can't close our borders. So they're actually flying through. Well, they're gonna they're gonna be in a, a really sore spot, because once this um, 10 years of peace ends, they're not gonna be able to travel through this space anyway, because we're gonna we're gonna um, we're we're rivaling them. I believe I'm pretty sure we're rivaling them. We're, we're not gonna let them fly through the space, so we're gonna be at war with these guys pretty soon. And, um, but okay, that's actually okay. If we go to war against these guys, um, uh, before they join this alliance, we'll, um, we won't have to worry about anything because we'll have to deal with them and them, as opposed to deal with them, them, and them, and these two. As long as they don't join that federation, we'll be good. And these guys are kind of in the same boat. So, I, I have to stop them from formalizing um, their alliance. Um, unless, of course, if these guys decide they want to awaken, um, then they might blow these guys away. But I don't, I don't see that happening. I don't see them awakening. Who's over here that could awaken? Construction complete. These guys are nice guys, too. Look at them. Xenophiles. They're not going to go to war with anybody. How about these guys? Holy Guardians. <sighs> yeah. I don't know whether they're going to do anything is if someone messes with this guy world. Um, or... Yeah. They probably don't like this very much because we colonized the tomb world. Nope, don't even know about it. Whatever. Uh... I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Except, until next time, you guys have a wonderful day, and God be with you.